Well, all right guys, today we are starting to fish these ditches where they pump water through, they run water through the rice fields to keep the fields wet. And it causes a lot more water to be in these ditches and it creates current and more clear water and a lot more water. And it attracts fish out of the main river up here. Crappie, bluegill, red ear, channel cat, both in and just about anything to be honest bass we're gonna see what we can get there is honestly so many of these right in this mile one mile radius that you can't hit them all in one day so we just kind of picked one it ain't really our favorite one but uh we're gonna try it anyway see what we can get i might get a big boat in i got a bite finally Oh yeah. Big one. Oh. Not bad. Alright guys. First fish. Bluegill. I don't really have a bluegill style hook on. I'm kind of using an in between. Enough to handle channel cat and bowfin. Buffalo or whatever. Plus hopefully be able to hook a bluegill. Nice little male. About six inches. Well, I got something. I was starting to wonder there for a minute. He ain't the one I was after. I'm after that bowfin. He's out there. Not bad. Alright guys, another bluegill. I'm hoping to eventually get a nice warmouth or a red ear as well. And a channel cat. Oh my god. Dude, guys, there is something going absolutely bonkers inside that gutter. We think it's big buffalo is our guess. Nice. Another male bluegill. About five. Oh my god! Oh ho ho ho! What a nice one! Channel cat! Gigantic for here! Oh my gosh! Really nice for this place. Uh, go ahead and get the dip net out, I guess. You have to get the pole holders out of it. Really nice male channel. That other one was a bowfin, though, I'm telling you. He's a nice, big, dark male with poofy lips. Really nice one for here. That's the biggest one I've ever caught out of here. Not a bad catch. <clears throat> No, he's not three. He just fought really hard. It's about a pound and a half. That's it. Okay. <laughs> put on the top. Don't put it back. Good eating right there, though. Yeah, not a bad one. 
They're not huge, but my third bluegill, guys. Another male. Everyone's been a male. Heard the damn noise in the gutter again. God, now that's a nice male bluegill, guys. I'm really impressed for here. It's one of the bigger ones I've caught up this far. Look how colorful it is. Black belly, orange, pink, purple, blue, and green. This thing is like five different colors, guys. That is a nice bluegill. It ain't like where we have been going, but still, that is a nice bluegill, guys. Nice male. Really nice one. Not bad. <sighs> Look at that. God. Four mouth. Yep. Yeah. Alright guys, got a new species of the day. Little war mouth. Very little compared to the ones we've been catching the last week. He's a baby. But it is a war mouth. Alright guys, three kinds. Would have been four if I would have landed the bow fin. We got bluegill, channel cat, and war mouth. Bullhead, new species and a tiny one. Please do not swallow the hook. Boy, he's a baby bullhead too. It's either a yellow or a black. I think it's a black. Boy, he's a baby. That explains the ones going down in the rocks when I set the hook and I'm hung. He's a baby, baby bullhead guy. I gotta go change my battery and then we'll get back with it. Four species. Oh yeah, big one. <clears throat> oh, dip net, dip net. Come on, dip net. Come on. I ain't shit you not, I've been sitting here and every two to three minutes this 20 pound drum comes and stares at me and I put the worm right in front of him and he won't touch it. I've been after him for a half an hour. He's a 20 pound drum. This is a nice spotted gar. 
If that's a short nose, it's damn close to a record. No, maybe not. Short nose, the record's only 32 inches. And there's more than one drum in here. There's three giant drum. They come along the rocks right below me where I can almost grab them with the dip net. I shit you not. They won't now. I want a good picture of this too. I put, you know how I caught him? I put the worm right in front of his face. He swam over here. I just lowered it down and he stared at it. And I let him swallow it for a long time to make sure I didn't miss him. Make sure I'm recording. Yep. All right, guys. 30 inch spotted gar. Not far from a record, about six inches off. Not a bad gar. I sight fished him, guys. I lowered the worm right in front of his face. He was roaming the banks. Oh my God! I didn't even have it setting down yet! Oh my God! As soon as it hit the water! Did you see me? I was setting my pole down in the rock and it just started bending. Oh my God! It's a channel cat! Guys! I've been fishing out in the middle the whole time trying to get something. I just casted this out, and as soon as I, I set my rod down in this rocks, I look up and the thing was already bent over. It just hit the bottom. It had to fall on his face. Now, he's five pounds, or at least four. Get me the net, definitely. Need the dip net. Good fish to end with anyway. My gosh. Yeah, he's a good, he's a three pounder anyway. I'll give him three. He ain't four. Just come right here. I'm gonna come back. God. Maybe that's the way it's Yeah, it could have been. I can't believe it took that long. Five seconds. I, I just set my rod in the holder. Crazy, man. Nice channel, guys. He, he's three pounds. Maybe only two and a half. I'll give him three, though. He's pretty decent. Oh, good. Hold it good. Not a bad male channel, guys. Definitely a male. One of them hard-headed males, split head. So he's got the split in his head. That's a male, yeah. dark lips. Boy, these are good eating at this size. I'm telling you, that would be a good meal. All right, guys. Nice fish to end the evening with anyway. I can't believe how quick he bit it. As soon as it hit the water. I think they're at the end of them rapids. Like, yeah. Sure you got a good pick? Yeah. Don't like that. Flat the head. I can I can see the head like that. Yes. Not bad. Okay guys, I'm gonna have to get him thrown back in. I could have caught fish on the other side. 